This time I came up with a very tasty combination breakfast rice bowl. Also, I will share a secret recipe about the delicious side dish of shrimp and eggplant. In the second half, I will teach you how to make takoyaki like a street store at home. The outside is crispy and the inside is melting in your mouth. Super tasty takoyaki, so be sure to check it out. First, let's start with the side dish using eggplant. Cut the eggplant into pieces about this size for ease of eating. The key is in the way it's cut. Make a lettuce of seeds on the skin surface to allow the flavor to soak in. Cut the ginger into stripes. It tastes better with it, but it's also fine without it. There is another way to make it by deep frying eggplant with plenty of oil, but today I will simply fry it in little oil. It's tastier with a little more oil. Eggplant and oil really go well together. Add the ginger and immediately add the eggplant. Once both sides are soaked in oil, leave to cook over low heat for 2 minutes. When the skin is done, flip and cook the other side for 2 minutes. While cooking, prepare the sauce. Put sake, soy sauce, mirin, salt, dash powder, and water. Place in a pot and simmer. Simmer uncovered until water is reduced. This will allow the eggplant to soak up the flavor. Next, let's prepare miso soup. Today I will use these vegetables that I had left over in the fridge. Daikon, carrot, and kabocha squash. If you add kabocha squash, you get a creamy, slightly sweet miso soup that is so yummy. Add water and bring to a boil. Eggplant can be boiled like this. When the water content has reduced slightly, turn the eggplant over and let the other side absorb some of the flavor. When the water is gone to this level, turn off the heat, let cool before eating. Next, I'll make a dish using shrimp. After the shrimp have been cleaned and washed, cut dry slowly, then cover with potato starch. Frying oil. You can use much less oil actually. There would have been less oil splatter that way. Fry shrimp on both sides to cook through me. Then I make a special tasty mayo sauce. Put lemon juice, mayonnaise, ketchup, milk, and sugar. Mix well. Shrimp that were removed too early due to oil spreading were reheated without oil. The potato stitch looks crunchy and yummy. When it's cooked, let cool slightly. Next, prepare eggs for the rice bowl. Add a little sugar and fry the egg. If you were to make a simple bowl of rice for breakfast, eggs are a must, right? It's easy and nice if you use chopsticks to stir the eggs so that they become fine like this. Unlike rolled eggs, it's stress-free. When shrimp are cooled, toss with mayo sauce. I have always loved this shrimp dish, but I have been meaning to make it for a long time and never had the chance, but I'm glad I finally did. I think there might be a dish similar to this outside of Japan. Prepare great condiments to top the eggplant. This is Myoga ginger. My husband is very pleased when I match it with the eggplant I made today. Cut more shiso and use it in rice bowls too. The combination of shiso and myoga is very nice and summery. Remove the skin from the core roll. This is the one with a slightly spicy flavor. Put it on rice with the egg you just made. Top with shiso and it's perfect. Next, complete the miso soup. The miso I'm using today does not contain dashi, 
So add a pinch of dash powder, stir and turn off the heat. Recently, I have started using this in addition to the miso I usually use. It's a common red miso made with rice koji, but it has a slightly different flavor from the usual miso. This miso is a little less salty than usual miso, so I added just a little more. Even miso made from similar ingredients can vary considerably in flavor depending on the producer, so it's fun to try different kinds of miso. Serve the eggplant with the condiments. My husband said he would recommend eating this eggplant cold in the fridge in the summer. Next, we teach you how to make professional like takoyaki at home. Let's prepare the ingredients. Miss green onion. Red pickle ginger. This is fresh ginger pickled in plum vinegar with red shiso. You can omit it if you don't have it, but it's recommended to include it to make it taste more professional. Cut the octopus as the main ingredient. If you were to use something other than octopus, what do you think would be a good choice? This will come out later in the conversation with my husband. This is the dough for making tempura bit tenkasu. I have some tempura bits at home that I used last time, but it was a small month, so I made it just in case. Mix equal parts flour and water and add a little rice vinegar to make it crispy. Mix until there are no lumps. Drop it into the oil. If you use spoon, it will be too big, so a small whisk would be best. Wait a few minutes and it will turn nicely golden brown like this and then it's ready to use. This is what I made. This is what was in the fridge. It was bought at the supermarket. I didn't think there were many, but there were quite a few. This much seemed to be enough for one batch of takoyaki. Now the content of the takoyaki are ready. Next, let's make takoyaki dough. Prepare a beaten egg. Here we will make enough dough for 16 pieces, about 2 servings, put flour, I'm not sure but I think this is the same as why you call cake flour in the US, a dash butter, soy sauce, and mirin. If you don't have mirin, you can add sake and a little sugar or just a little sugar, add beaten egg, Use only half an egg, add water, mix well. Today we simply used water and dash powder, but some people use dashi made from kombu or bonito flakes. With dash powder, it's easy and tastes great. The key to making this dough is to season it with soy sauce and mirin. This makes takoyaki dramatically tastier. たこ焼きっすね。今日はたこ焼きパーティーをします。え、これもしや僕焼くの。そうだよ。入れてもらうんだよ。苦手なんですよ。苦手じゃないじゃん。火つけてじゃあ。これあれですね、あの、たこ
タコ入れた方がいいとりあえずタコでいいよあれあれ入れすぎちゃったあだしの匂いがしていいねあいい匂いさすが上手だねこのタレの準備は、うん、これだけなんかちょっといっぱい入れちゃったいいよあなんか屋台の匂いがする、うん、グリーンアニオンテンプラビッツアンレッドピコルジンジャーテンプリンダーリメイニンドウアンティダーホールズインダータコヤキアノーランガービズボウヒハスハデナプラリドビッドヒユーズイダーピックスとドローラインズオンダドウ最初ちゃんとしっかりねするのが大事かもねアワコンクリージョンアンダーベッドヒーレベルイザーズフォローズフィスティーダータコヤキクッカーオブハイヒッドネクストウェンアディンダドウエングリディン The heat should be low. After all the dough has been added, cook over medium to high heat. If the heat is too high for too long, it may burn, so watch and adjust the heat level. This is a dog. 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 いわゆるたこ焼きで、うん、だからあの東日本ではもんじゃとかが多くてで西日本はたこ焼きうんそう大阪の人もんじゃ焼き食べないんかなあ食べないで食べると美味しいっていうことなんか食べる文化ないじゃん,んよく知らないけど大阪で大阪の人はさすごいさだしもさなんかこだわってさたこ焼きの焼きとか作るんですたこ焼き焼きみたいななんかねペットボトルに入れてるって。ポークダドウ with the pick。And if it's somewhere firm, turn it over, roll up the dough that is out of the run area as if you were pressing it inside。なんか、火が真ん中の四つが強いんですよね、やっぱね。うん、そりゃそうなんだけど、うんだね、下が火だから。うん、だから、真ん中の四つからやりつつ、これがなんか多分店のやつと違うんだろうね。うん、だけどそう家でやるのはどうしてもねあの電気のやつも結構場所によって火の通りが違うっていうかこれまだ火通ってないねわおいいじゃん上手だねいやこれ多分そんなうまくないなと思うよでやっぱり、ね、関西人じゃないとできないよねわあ美味しそう The heat strength varies depending on the grill location, so if the dough is still too soft, takoyaki should be cooked for a longer time without turning them over. The four corners are turned over last because they are the least hot. When all the pieces have been turned over, lower the heat and cook for about 4 minutes, a little longer where the fire is weak. Rotate frequently to spread the heat throughout. これで焼きながら油をちょっとやりたいねなんか落としながらやるとカリカリで外がカリカリですごい美味しくなるよね油ちょっと足すっこれ残ってるやついいよこれうん、まあ、引いてくれたマスクするうん、いいよありがとうあ絶対いいよこれあ美味しそうだね銀だこスタイルうん知ってんの銀だこじゃない海外にあんのないけど日本に来たら食べれるよ海外にもあんのかな If you add more oil, the surface will become even crispier and tastier っていうかあれタコって食べるの海外の人なんかスペインと日本しか食べないで聞いたことあるけどあとあれ何アジアは食べるのか、うん、韓国とかも食べるよアメリカはアメリカは食べないかもねオクパーあだからタコ以外にエビ入れてもいいし、えっと、ウインナー入れてもいいしソーセージとかなんか好きな具材入れればいいんだよほらでもタコは美味しいやったなんかタコって何でもないよなんだかんだでねタコ焼きはねタコが美味しいけどこれ真ん中取れるねお皿もびっくりうん Place the takoyaki on the plate, starting with the one in the center. He brings the takoyaki, which had a low fire, to the middle. It's time for toppings. 
Okonomi sauce is similar to tonkatsu sauce but with the addition of dashi and sweetness, making it ideal for takoyaki and okonomiyaki. Put plenty of sauce on top. As I mentioned before with Hiroshima-style okonomiyaki, if you cannot get this sauce, try making a substitute using tonkatsu sauce and these seasonings, sprinkle dried bonito flakes, and aonori. Put some Japanese mayonnaise on it. Hope you enjoy making takoyaki at home.